one of the things that's important to discuss when we're talking about improving uh, the way that people help people is talking about the focus of the help. And so there are consultants out there who focus on making sure you feel great about the help that you're giving people or the things that you're participating in. And that's fantastic. And it is absolutely important for the longevity of any partnership or any program uh, that you feel good and that it makes sense and that um, you feel engaged with the work that you're doing. But if you don't pay attention to whether or not the people who you're supposed to be helping or the communities that are supposed to be getting a benefit are actually getting a benefit from the work that you do, well then it doesn't really matter if you feel great about it. Feeling great about ineffective interventions is easy to do, it really is. It's easy to make people feel really fantastic and warm and fuzzy uh, about doing work without the work actually being that effective. And that is something that we really, really have to look at. And it's controversial, of course, um, because by definition, we have to uh, we have to say that some interventions or some projects or some uh, fundraising efforts or charitable endeavors aren't that effective and they're not that great. Uh, but if we don't do that, if we don't take the time to talk about the ineffective uh, interventions and the work that people are doing that's not really helping, uh, then we're going to have a really tough time improving the quality of care for people in need. Not really improving how everyone feels about doing the work because it's possible to do that. Uh, but if you go in with this idea that first of all, you're gonna get people feeling good about doing uh, good work and then you're gonna change them into doing effective work later, to us, that seems backwards and counterintuitive. So at the Just Be Nice project, it's all about from day one, from the very beginning, making sure that your interventions meet the four key pillars of impact, which is that they're comprehensive, they're long-term, they're inclusive, and they're high output for low input. And that is really, really important to everything that we do. Now, obviously, keeping things high output for low input means that we wanna keep people doing what they're really good at. To keep people doing what they're really good at, they have to feel a connection to what they're doing and they have to see the point of it. And that's why ongoing education and innovative interventions are the way to go. And that's, that's something that we focus on very heavily. Unfortunately, if we only focused on making everyone feel great for attempting to do some work, then the people who need the help the most will be the ones that miss out. And that's something that we just can't abide by. So that's part of what we do at the Just Be Nice project is make sure that interventions are engaging and interesting, uh, that you can find a connection with them. But at the same time, making sure that those interventions are really high quality for the people in need, that they become part of a process that improves your quality of opportunity for everybody who needs it. And if we don't do that, then we're doing a great disservice, not only to the individuals and communities in need, but actually also to the education of everybody about what a good impact is and how much impact you could possibly have if you just keep doing what you're really good at in a system that delivers fantastic assistance to people in need.